Welcome back to The Wyman Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm here with our project car, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And like many of you, I have blacked out the chrome around our window frame on both sides of the car, doing a chrome delete. And there are a lot of other chrome pieces on this car that I'm gonna do something very similar to. I'm gonna start off with this front H emblem. And I'm not going to black that out. I'm actually planning on turning this chrome into white. And I think the contrast between the black chrome and the white pearl of the car will make that H emblem pop. So there's three ways I can do this. We can replace the H emblem. You can purchase those online. Do possibly plasti dipping this. It is cheaper to plasti dip. Think it's going to take a little bit more time potentially to plasti dip. What I'm going to do is instead I'm going to vinyl wrap this. And vinyl wrap, I believe, is a very cheap alternative. If I get sick of the white and I want to do a different color, you can easily easily remove that vinyl wrap and change out the color. So that's what we're going to do today. If you're interested in seeing how I vinyl wrap the front H emblem on our project car, then stay tuned. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now that you've cleaned your H emblem thoroughly and decontaminated it, get any bug splatter that's stuck on there, any um, including any wax or residue from uh, cleaning solutions you may have. Use that isopropyl alcohol mixture to get any grease off of it. Once it's thoroughly clean, we're gonna take our vinyl wrap, and like I said, I'm doing it in white. You can buy all sorts of different colors online. I am using an Avery Denison. You can use 3M, you can use Vivid. I would stick to some of the more well-known brands uh, just because of the quality but this is relatively inexpensive. You can get all sorts of different colors off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. We're gonna lay this over loosely. We're not stretching it because we wanna have some play so we can overlap on either side, so we can overlap on the actual H emblem. So we're gonna apply it loosely. Before you do that though, take a look at your H emblem. Take a look at where you want to cut. So this is one risk of vinyl, that you are going to be using a razor blade to cut away the vinyl, and potentially you could scratch the emblem itself. You could scratch what's behind the emblem. There's, a, there's plastic pieces here, and you don't want to mar it up. So take a look at where you're going to put the blade and get an idea before you actually cover it up with your vinyl. Now that we have some relief cuts, you can use a little bit of heat. You can either use a hair dryer or a specific vinyl heat gun. Don't use too much. Don't let it get too close to the vinyl. You don't wanna melt the vinyl or discolor the vinyl in any way. Just a little bit of heat to help it conform. So I've taken my time going around all of the edges, tucking it in just with my fingertips here, right? And making sure that it's all tucked in and it's smooth. If you have to, which I did, a couple spots that started, as you can see down here, maybe. This part is not part of the emblem, so it does have a crease in it, but that's okay. We're gonna cut that off. But I got a couple of the creases in here just take your time, each little section, pull up, you can put it back down. It's very forgiving. If you find that you can't get the creases out, all it takes is a little bit of heat from the heat gun, just a little bit of heat, 
and it'll go back to its original form. Now we can go and cut. You don't want to start cutting if you have areas where you still need to smooth it out. It'll be much more difficult after the fact. So I am gonna start by cutting the outside here. And again, just remember what's behind there. The emblem does have a lip, so I'm gonna take advantage of that lip. We're gonna use a new razor blade. Take your time, use your other hand to rest it, make some nice smooth cuts. If you're going to err, err on the side of um, leaving a little bit too much. Later on, we can go back and we can tuck it in with our tools or just with your fingernail. But if you cut too much, like a haircut, we can't go put it back on afterwards. However, with that said, you know, it is vinyl. If you've purchased a piece to do this emblem, I'm sure you have leftover. So if you do make a mistake, you can rip it off and uh, try it again. So I'm gonna start cutting. I'm just going to use my tool here to make sure I clearly have my edge defined. I'm gonna go around the whole emblem. I'm gonna do that using this to tuck it in. And then later on, this is exactly where I'm gonna send my razor blade. So I've finished going along using my tool to tuck it in, tuck it in. Don't drag it, you could rip the vinyl and don't drag it because you can start bunching the vinyl up. But just slide it smoothly, tuck it under, almost like you're tucking it under the emblem itself. And this is gonna provide you with that guideline for where your blade is gonna go. You try to make nice smooth cuts. Now, I'm gonna start over here, make my way down because if I have to stop and start again, inevitably, there's gonna be a little discrepancy or a little edge where that is. And I'd rather have my edge someplace that's less noticeable. So I'm gonna take it around this way. If I can keep going, great. If I can't, I can't, right? That is not perfect at all. I had to a couple areas I had a nice continuous cut. <laughs> Unfortunately, one of those was at the bottom where if I was going to mess up, I'd rather do it at the bottom. But the corners were a little rough. Let's see how much I left so we can tuck it in. We'll heat it up a little bit. We'll use our tool to tuck it in. Um, and hopefully it's not noticeable. And I am lucky that I left a little bit. I took my own recommendation. That way we can come back and clean it up a little bit. And at least the top and the left side, this side, looks pretty good. All right, let's take a look at my work here. So up at the top, I don't know if you can see that, not so bad. Down at the bottom, actually pretty good, probably the best area. On the right side, not so bad. The left side, yeah, you got some jaggedness in here. I'll continue to try to tuck it in under. Problem area is probably this top left here, and you can see that's jagged. That ja that's jagged from me picking up the razor blade, cutting, removing, starting again. So it's at different cut points, and this is what happens if you don't have a nice, clean, continuous cut. Um, so I'll continue to heat that and attempt to tuck that under. The next we are going to do is I am going to start cutting, taking sections. So this section, this section, below the H, to the left of the H. I'm gonna take each one of these and we'll do the same thing. We'll cut out, we'll tuck it, we'll heat it, we'll de clearly define our edge and we'll take the razor blade to it. All right, so how did it turn out? I'd say, okay Remember, this is the first time that I've done the H emblem. I've done a little bit of wrapping here and there, but
for the most part, it's been straight lines. I would probably give myself maybe a B plus. There are definitely some areas that are a little jagged from cutting. So I think it's super important that if you can get your cut as one continuous cut without lifting the blade and putting it back down, that is super important. Make sure that you give yourself enough overlap. So error on the side of not cutting too much. That way you can use your, use your tools to tuck the wrap in under the emblem. And in some spots that was super easy. It made it look really sharp, really clean. There are some areas on the corners here that are a little jagged if you look up close. And unfortunately, down here as well, which is unfortunate because this is a very visible spot. So I'm happy with it being my first time. I am. Uh, would I do it again? I like working with vinyl wrap. I'm gonna do some more, like I said, uh, on the rest of the car. There's other chrome bits, including the uh, rear Accord badge, the touring badge, uh, the chrome on the bottom part of uh, either side of the car, the chrome on the top of the handles. I like using the stuff. I think it's definitely a good alternative to replacing the badge altogether. So would I recommend vinyl wrapping your emblems? That's up to you. It did take longer than I thought it would. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. But if you're only gonna do it once, maybe it's not. Maybe it's worthwhile to just buy the emblem or maybe some plasti dip. I've never used plasti dip and I'm considering at least trying it. The Accord and the Touring emblem in the back. And that I think is gonna be a little complicated. So now that I think about it, Maybe that would be a good example of using the Plasti Dip. Let me know what you think. But I want to thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time.